Om Tat Sat, this is Swami Nikhilananda and welcome to Spirituality and Vedanta Philosophy. My humble prostrations to my worshipful Param Guru, Sri Swami Shivananji Maharaj of Divine Life Society, Rishikesh, India and to my worshipful Guru, Sri Swami Jyotirmananji Maharaj of Yoga Research Foundation, Miami, Florida and to all of you divine souls listening to this video. In my regular videos, I explain deep insights about spirituality and Vedanta philosophy. If you like these videos, please share with others as this is also a form of Jnana Yagya or selfless service. In today's video, we will be discussing what exactly is integral yoga. So yoga comes from the root letter in Sanskrit, which is called yuj. And yuj means to unite. So the real purpose of yoga is to connect our consciousness or spirit to the divine consciousness which we can call spiritual energy god or whatever whatever religion we practice has nothing to do with it because these are universal laws and they apply to everybody and um, that is why yoga becomes a universal process and now even in the west it's uh, getting a lot of popularity of course uh, yoga I want to clarify is much more than just doing hatha yoga which is just the physical aspect in which we do asanas etc but that is a very limited view of yoga the real purpose um, of yoga is to be able to connect with the divine and therefore if you are a little more serious you may have read uh, Patanjali's um, uh, Ashtang Yoga Sutras <coughs> which talks about Yam Niyam Asan Pranayam Pratyahar Dharana Dhyana Samadhi so basically there are eight steps and so Yam Niyam Asana as you know which we call Hatha Yoga is only one aspect of that entire process of course that we will discuss in another video but in today's video I want to keep the process simple so we know exactly what integral yoga is and how should we live, be living today in this world in this Kali Yoga to um, help ourselves and also progress spiritually so um, the way we do that is uh, through a four-step process and they are all integrated and thus the term integral yoga um, and they are very briefly karma yoga which is uh, action uh, bhakti yoga which is devotion dhyana yoga which is meditation and jnana yoga which is spiritual knowledge so these four things have to be holistically blended in your daily life and then we can call ourselves a practitioner of integral yoga that is the philosophy i am personally following uh, from my divine masters uh, and it is immensely helpful in your daily life and I can tell you from experience it really works very well um, karma yoga is basically the action part of your daily life uh, selfless service whenever you do something for others in which you don't have a vested interest you just want to help other people for example the way i'm making this video i just want to help and share my experiences with humanity so that would be considered selfless service or karma yoga um, um, and there are many other ways to do it for example when you are volunteering uh, in a hospital or you're learning a new skill or you're sharing something with others uh, with no expectation of a reward as we do that we are also purifying ourselves, and our inner conscience is getting cleansed as a result so that is the karma yoga aspect right the second one is called bhakti yoga bhakti means devotion devotion is um, as you can see karma yoga is with physical actions mostly uh, sharing skills and so on but bhakti is more from the heart so that is more of a inner feeling your devotion how you feel about god as a ocean of compassion or a divine mother um, or anything that you want to attribute it to it's limitless whatever gives you peace and comfort and whatever uh, helps you with the inner flow of your feelings that flow unceasingly um, 
um, in um, Sanatan Dharma, a way to do this is through chanting kirtans, singing bhajans, and therefore the nectar starts to flow um, inside and we start feeling the, the peace. And that aspect is called bhakti yoga. So the third aspect is called dhyana yoga, which is going within. Dhyan means concentration. Uh, so dharana, dhyana, samadhi, which is the, the eight steps. The last three are called going within. The first five were just preparatory steps, yama, niyam, asan, pranayam, pratyahar. So they, they were all these five steps are only to make you ready to start going in. Um, the problem we see in this um, world today is everything is externalized, right? Um, uh, lots of news media, lots of technical progress, lots of uh, technology, and, um, and then stress not to mention. So we don't find necessarily the time to experience the bliss uh, that is coming from within. And that's why we suggest that uh, meditation is a great way to um, to experience that just hear the sound that's coming from you within you uh, and that's um, the bliss and when you wake up in the morning uh, early morning which is called Brahma Mahurata it's a great great opportunity because sages and saints are meditating at that time and everybody else is sleeping so when you are up you um, get a lot of um, results for your investment of your time and uh, you're doing it for yourself so it's a great way to start your day and in these days even science is proving it right meditation uh, improves your work performance it uh, is uh, giving you a lot more focus and you have clarity of thinking so if you are considering it i would highly recommend you start pursuing it and if you have any questions i'll be happy to guide you as well uh, you can contact me with your comments um, but that is that aspect is called dhyana yoga and it's a slow process and slowly as your obstructions start to get removed and you are cleansing yourself you will uh, see it gets uh, easier with time and uh, you experience that nectar within you and finally uh, the fourth aspect is called jnana yoga and jnana yoga means um, the the knowledge of the spiritual life and how do you get that you get it exactly how how we are doing it right now this is a satsanga i'm sharing the spiritual insight with you and if you have not subscribed to my youtube channel and you do that you will see a lot of videos on vedanta and um, sanatan dharma philosophy that will give you these deep mystical insights to help you progress and you can always contact me as well if you have any questions but uh, anytime you read scriptures that is also jnana yagya uh, and you know you you develop more clarity so the sages and saints um, of today's world say in this Kali Yoga that's the most best potent way of uh, uh, jump-starting your spiritual progress you do all four and you ha don't have to do a lot of it just make your life a holistic blend of these things just enjoying yourself doing the things a little karma yoga which is selfless service a little devotion bhakti a little meditation going within dhyana and a little knowledge of jnana you sprinkle it so the best way to do it is attend satsang many of you are already doing that we do two free satsangs um, for all of you to listen and they're posted on Facebook regularly um, on Bhagavad Gita and Yoga Vashishta and so that's Jnana Yagya meditation is your personal inner journey where you start to um, cleanse your all your impediments that are inside devotion uh, helps you do that because now you're enjoying the sweet mystic music from within you listening to your favorite bhajan listening to your favorite devotional song and then of course selfless service because that takes away the selfishness that we have accumulated over time unknowingly sometimes knowingly it doesn't matter but once we resolve that we want to make a change in our life the journey as Confucius I think has said journey to a thousand miles starts with the first step so let us keep taking one step at a time and you will make a tremendous progress over time i hope this video made sense so integral yoga is a holistic uh, life really about uh, four of your actions that you're doing on a regular basis on a daily basis in small ratios small proportions but enjoying huge benefits uh, as a result um, this is swami nikhilananda divine blessings to you Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti.